Hello and welcome to Six Square Live TV. This is Six Square Now here, and today we're going to be talking about Jumo in High Elo. So Jumo is a ranged character um, that is really really hard to play. Uh, his skill cap is really high. You you need to play him for a long time to get good at him. Um, Jumo is a very very team dependent character, and um. Especially in high elo, you need a, your team to be able to show up and work together. Um, Jumon doesn't work with a lot of uh, mixed comp. He works with a solid comp in a in a sense that if you have people like Bako, or you have strong melee characters um, that have game sense, that know how to play, and you have healers that know how to heal, um, that's where Jumon strive because. Jumo on himself, I mean by himself, is a it's a very very challenging character um, to play. So you need teammates that actually know what they are doing in order for you guys to be successful as a team. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys two game here. Um, this this is Diamond Elo uh, with a mix of uh, GC and uh, Champions. Uh, so this is a very very high um, high Elo uh, gameplay here and. Um, I am not the best Jumon, but um, I have been playing for a little bit uh, in casual match and just practicing with him. And I just wanted to know, like, how really, how hard is it to really play Jumon um, in in Diamond or like uh, play Jumon against champions and GC and stuff like that. So um, that's that's what that's what it's gonna be about. So I'm gonna show you one video where I have a team that knows what they are doing. Um, I have good players <laughs> and then I'm going to show you another video where um, where I am left alone with this uh, melee that keeps uh, doing his job properly but my ally don't know how to do their job and so it's, it's really tough and uh, I'm going to show you the difference in the gameplay uh, my performance as Chumong in these two uh, instances. So this here we go against uh, against um, some champs, and I think I have like I don't know if these guys are champs or whatever. I usually just leave the match as soon as it is over these days because I don't have that much time to. to get it wrong. Um, all right. So here is champion. Uh, we have uh, these guys. I don't know if they are ranks, but they are pretty good players. This is this guy is actually on his main. I don't know this guy though. And we have this guy. I think he's on his main too. And I don't know this guy, but it is what it is now. So we're gonna start this match up here, right? And um, <laughs> I'm not gonna go in there. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna start this match up, and you're gonna see how it happens, how everything goes down. So let's let me forward it a little bit. Alright. Alright. Alright, so my right, um, Jumon is a very, very uh team relying character and because everybody knows it, they really try to pressure Jumong a lot. So you gotta you gotta uh, build him properly um to survive. Um, mainly based on how you play. As for me, I, de I depend on like movement and stuff. So I took haste and stuff. So here I am. Uh, my starts as a range character. I'm not all the way up front doing like, I'm not spinning around in the middle of the map. I'm not on my mount when it might start. I'm just waiting um, to see where all the enemies are before I can attack. I'll back over here. Um, He's trying to engage, but he's supposed to be around here. Anyways, I think he saw Freya trying to sneak around or something, and so he engaged onto the Freya there. Uh, so, alright, um, my healer is not supposed to be this close to the uh, buckle, but you know, as you can see, we are actually getting punished here because my healer is out of position. Um, I'm still back here. I'm peeling. I'm just peeling, waiting to see. Uh, where Shinra, Shinra is and uh, how the entire match is gonna go, how my uh, melee is gonna get uh, 
which type of setups he's gonna have so I can like follow up and stuff like that. So Freya, right off the bat, Freya and Ulrich are super intense. Um, they are just pushing us back. Ulrich is, I mean, uh, Shinra is also like a brain dead character, uh, meaning that you can you can be trash and you can still do insane damage with him. And that's that's how intense this comp is. The red team is um, as we are going out here. Like they are just pushing us out of the map. And it's okay though. It's okay. We're not gonna die. It's like I don't know, two seconds into the twenty seconds into the match. So that's that. All right, my Bako backs out, and then he uses arrow on his allies. This is something that most Bako don't know how to do. Um, this is this is gonna make the diff. I mean, this is the only difference between a good Bako player and a bad Bako player. Um, the ones that know how to shoot the ally and how to protect the ally and stuff like that. Um, free eyes jumping up here. Jesus Christ, that's free eye guys. I don't know, even know uh, what's happening right now. But anyways, everybody is like flying all over the map, and uh, she's jumping onto my onto my blossom. Blossom already used her space here, so I think she's on cooldown. I dropped my trap behind the free eye, it, just in case the free eye want to run back. That's gonna catch her, and so I'm trying to peel for my uh, for my blossom here and back off. It's just trying to keep these guys busy so um so they don't continue to just push us back in so the back kind of knows what he's supposed to be doing free eye drops a, a counter for me to hit it um in the meantime i'm trying to peel off of my blossom so as you can see i'm dropping my arrows um i'm dropping my arrows on the floor here i don't hit the counter though so Freya is like caught into one of my ring of arrows and uh, I can get my uh, I can get my M0 on her and heal a little bit off of it if she damages me. So I sneak around her with my R ability and then I use my M2 on her. I mean M1 on her. Bako is trying to regroup. Blossom is coming back. I'm getting pressure here. I'm getting cornered. Uh, my Blossom is free, and they are trying to support me now to get me out of this. And Freya is like also out of position. Um, it's like a 2v1 type of thing going on here. Uh, but, you know, these guys are healthy, but Freya is also in a, in a dangerous situation right now. Because she already wasted her counter. So I continue, I continue to appeal for her. I mistakenly hit that counter. Um, that's one of my problems though, like I hate counters, I'm not gonna lie, like I hate counters a lot, so uh, that's that, right? So I immediately after I hit that counter, I dropped my traps because I know they were gonna jump onto me. And luckily Bako already spaced into the air, he was gonna land this space. And he landed on all of them. Ulrich shoot at his ally, decent way to play. Um, again, this is high elo, so these guys know what they gotta do. And so as soon as that happened, I dropped my ring of arrow to, to uh, proc... Uh, my marksman mark on all of these guys so I can uh, heal off of them again. Because Bako been doing so much M1s around here and saving his energy, um, he actually had his ultimate and he used that ultimate. Freya has taken insane amount of damage here. She spaces up. My ring of arrow has slowed her down. She don't have that much uh, any, uh, speed buff left to like catch up with me. So she comes down and I uh, landed my uh, M0, I mean M1 onto her. Blossom uh, send some CC in there. Ulrich is trying to, to create a combo on me, but Freya dies in the meantime. Um, this is one of the things though, like even if the enemy is low and you as a healer, you know that you can finish the enemy off um, and your allies is in trouble, the best thing to do is to heal your ally um, so that your ally can live, right? The main goal here is to keep your team alive as a support character. Um, even if the enemy is low, don't chase them, right? You gotta, your main goal is to support your ally. Um, unless you really know that if you attack that person, your ally will not die, right? So his ally dies and I'm getting away with my Arab uh, space ability here. Again, this speed buff on the uh, right that I took is actually really helping me because I can move around really fast. Decent uh, EX there from the uh, Shinra. I took 28 damage. 
I almost killed myself there. Um, that was instant though. As soon as I, as I shot at that arrow, um, that dude just EX right away and I, I almost killed myself. Ulrich landed that stun on me. I'm super low. I used my arrow again to get away. Um, the Shin right here is it's not that good, honestly. Um, honestly, um, he could have killed me. Uh, when he went in the air, you could have like dropped this uh, AOE before using the other abilities, his M1s. I mean, his, M his M0s, but instead he like misses those stuff. I don't know if that was a mistake. Like everybody is trying to kill me right now, so they are bound to make mistakes. Um, and that's one of the problem of like playing uh, Jumon. Um, that's one of the challenges of playing Jumon. Like everybody want to kill you, bro. Like as soon as you, you pick Jumon, everybody know that they, they're going to focus you and they're going to chase you down until they get you. Uh, so... Alright, so right here I'm like 20, uh, 10 hit point or something, 20 hit point. And Oreg is also really low, so I'm trying to trade with that guy. But, you know, I'm trying to regroup my allies again. I know if I run off this way, I'm going to be 1v1 in somebody who is super high in hit point than I am. So instead of going this way to 1v1 him, I'm actually coming back to my ally to at least help them finish this guy off. Uh, Blossom is super aggressive though, um, she's supposed to be back here healing us, dropping some trees and stuff, but she's like, she's, re she's really into it, she wanna get those kills, do those damage and all that stuff, and it's kinda nice to have like an aggressive Blossom, but sometimes you should actually be back to support your allies. So immediately when I noticed that if I wasn't going anywhere, I went mid. And my back will follow me. He mounted up because, I mean, these are like things that you just have to do, like an instant reaction type of thing. So, I'm gonna take this orb here. Luckily, nobody landed M zeros on it, so we took it. The orb goes in the air instead of landing some some of the M zeros on me. He decided to land it onto the uh, blossom. Uh, another mistake there. Again, this is all about focus. He made a focus mistake. Uh, when somebody is low, your focus, your your focus is that person. Um, so you should try to land some of your abilities onto that person. Um, I'm not gonna worry about this guy uh, because I know he's he's like he's trying to do damage, but he's not he's failing really hard right now, and he's not my priority because look at his hit point. He's like so high in hit point. So if I I'm, if I turn around and try to attack these guys, I'm wasting my time pretty much. So I may, I better ask, um I better focus on the healer and finish the healer before before coming to this guy. Even if you're in a situation like a two v two situation and there's a healer and a DPS, your main goal should be to focus that healer down. All right, so let's go here. Okay. I'm taking some damage from the uh, Auric, I mean, uh, Shin Rao there. I'm gonna grab this orb real quick. Pop my M2, it actually landed though. They went right into that uh, uh, stun from the uh, Blossom there, but they didn't, uh, they didn't waste time to actually escape from it, so they're gonna be safe for a little bit. I managed to steal that orb right into the Blossom ultimate. He landed that Shin, uh, Shin Rao. I'm gonna drop my trap, my trap. Dude, one of the most important things too about playing Jumo is to know where to drop your traps, bro. Uh, because those little interrupts can actually uh, help your team set up some nice combos and stuff like that. So if you want to play Jumo properly, you got to know when to drop your um, your your roots, um, your traps, and how to drop them pretty much. So that was a decent job. I think I, I understand how to drop my traps uh, as Jumo. Shinra is going to waste his space here. He's coming down because I don't want him to help his Auric anymore. I'm going to actually 1v1 him. I know that we are both at the same hit point and uh, I'm able to like fight him now because we are at the same hit point. So I'm going to go and aggro on him. I attack him, making him to turn towards me, turning this way instead of actually facing this way. So now he's facing this way. He don't have time to look at the Auric and we can actually do some 1v1s here. I'm gonna finish him. 
All right, that was round one. Round two starts right here. Okay, round two starts. As you can see, I, I really think I know how to drop my traps as a Jumong. Um, just because I have a really incredible uh, game sense and I know like how players um, are going to act pretty much. Um, that's all adds into the game sense type of thing. Uh, knowing what the player is going to do because you are playing against them and you are playing with them. Um, so I think I know what the uh, area is um, area is going to do this champion. Um, I know he's going to focus our healer down or he's just going to uh, go super aggro and start attacking random stuff um, just so that we can hit his counter. And that's that's part of um, how Frias plays in the main, in a uh, overall general perspective. So uh, I'm going to drop my trap know that knowing that Frias is going to be running around. So eventually he's going to hit one of my traps. So he jumps in there, his counter doesn't get hit. And uh, I'm far back here, so he cannot um, EX me whatsoever if he ha even has some energy. Um, it's too early though, so I don't think he, he have some of those. However, uh, Blossom again, she's all the way up here in front of the match. So she's going to space back so early in the match. Um, again, we're going to get pushed back because of this. Alright, this is one of the reasons why when every time we play a match, I'm usually telling the healer, the healer to stay back. People don't understand this. But if you are actually back here from the start and actually playing safely behind your melee, your charge um, champion, um, it's much easier to save your space bar for later on than if you were all the way up here doing attacking stuff and then somebody engage you just a little bit and then you have to like space back. At that point, you already wasted your only escape and if you get focused, it's gonna push the entire thing backwards. All right, so this is why I'm like always, always, I'm like, healer, you gotta stay back, healer, you gotta stay back. And people don't understand this, they always complain, uh, I wanna I wanna play, man, come on, you are so bossy and stuff like that. It's, it's, uh, it's a game sense that like only few people know. And um, I'm just trying to help out. Like when I'm saying stuff like this to people, I'm just trying to help out. I'm not trying to like argue or, um, like make them tilt it up, um, tilt up, anything like that. All right, so our backhoe is in here now. Uh, Blossom is going to drop a tree. Uh, not getting enough value out of it though. If she was to drop a tree up here, I can actually walk behind that tree and use it as a shelter, uh, as a cover to actually like attack um, and be a little more aggressive. But since the tree is going to be dropped here, I'm going to stay back here and try to uh, just peel from the backhoe. I land my M, uh, M1 on the Oric though, decent 80, uh, 28 damage there. I'm gonna drop my Reign of Arrow around here where I can see. And immediately, immediately drop my traps around there. Um, so, Freya is gonna get caught though, and uh, I think somebody hit a counter. I probably hit a counter again. Okay, so we're gonna keep doing this. I mark now with my secret marks and I'm gonna back out. Bakwa is in there doing a lot of M1s as he should be, attacking that healer, keeping him busy. And I'm being focused here. Um, I went back here, I couldn't see my Bakwa though, and I know that Bakwa was attacking Auric. And so when I saw them there, I decided to back all the way back out. All right, um, now I'm actually in mid. My healer is back here. She's supposed to be backing out with me as well. Um, but Freya was right in the middle here. So she got, I think that's why she got this right or something. Again, this Blossom is super aggressive. So I don't really think she will be able to try to reboot with me uh, while I'm moving away. I dropped my Reno Arrows. Um, Bakwa is caught in the middle here. Freya is not going to chase me. Uh, just because I got my, I got some abilities, I know how to uh, escape. And uh, again, I have this right that can boost my movement speed. So I'm not gonna get a chase here. I'm gonna drop my rain of arrow, drop my traps, um, align my blossom to walk in here. And uh, okay, so blossom spaces for no reason. Um, Bako is caught out here. He don't know what to do now because I'm up here. Back, um, our blossom has space. And we are pretty much out of position here. We don't know how to regroup. Bako is gonna engage that Auric. Uh, I think the best thing to do here is to actually try to regroup with us, but 
I think he's fine one v one in that auric. I'm fine with Blossom because Blossom got insane amount of uh, protection. So I don't think that's um I don't think uh coming back to help me will be any useful. So I hit that counter again, immediately go into my R ability, passes through the uh, Freya there. Freya is, is left in the middle here. Bako is beating on their um on their healer and Freya really gotta hit something. Um so she's left in the middle here. The Shinrod doesn't know what to do either. So he's just gonna be caught here with his, with his full hit point and still not getting any value out of uh, the match. Freya still don't know what to do here. Uh, we are pretty much split. Um, so Auric is gonna try to regroup with his ally. Bako is caught behind the wall here. I don't know what's happening. Because I know that they are trying to regroup, I actually become a little bit aggressive because um, in the meantime, I can actually do some damage before they actually fully regroup. And so I come back to my ally too. Trying to land my M zeros and uh, immediately, immediately, uh, uh, Blossom start to out. That all was not actually good. Um, she should have waited for for a bit of a setup, or she should have used her, her EX. But anyway, she gonna out and uh, take insane amount of punishment because of that. Again, just because you have your ult doesn't mean that you should use it right off the bat. So that's that. I'm gonna drop my rain of arrows though because I know that this is gonna be a super intense uh, fight right here uh, because everybody's gonna try to focus Blossom so I might be able to learn some of my um, skill shots if I actually use them Our Blossom is gonna die here though Anyways, I've dropped so many uh, stuff in this little area that it's, al it's gonna allow me to actually start uh, poking at them one at a time Immediately, I see the Freya has used a lot of her abilities, so I land my M2, I M1 onto her, and now I'm gonna try to focus her down because she's the lowest of all these people. All right, so we are able to take her out with that uh, counter hit there with that shield from the Bako, and uh, well, we didn't take her out; she took herself out, and uh, that's that. My energy have been saved. Again, I have my space ability that when I use, I gain extra energy. So it, it's really easy for me to gain energy uh, with uh, Juma with my build. I try to use my Ulrich spaces away from it. He's saved. Uh, immediately, Shinra go upstairs. <laughs> and he's trying to like attack me. And I'm gonna get close to him though to avoid those CCs. And I pass it through them with my arrow ability. Uh, just so that I don't get stun locked by the orc there and uh, I'm gonna drop my rain of arrow because uh, the shan already spaced and uh, I'm gonna try to use my M1 on him. I land those M1 though because he was slowed down by the rain of arrows I'm gonna try to be super aggressive on this guy here so uh, Shinra can actually turn away from the Bako here and try to focus me and then that will allow Bako to like try to come in and maybe help me secure this score this kill Okay, Bako is actually able to get in there. Shinra spaces up. Again, he really doesn't know what to be what to do right now. Shinra can easily snap this orb. But you know he's not gonna do it. So he's trying to attack me still. I'm gonna sneak back here, get these uh, greens. And steal that orb as well. Drop my rain of arrow again. Game sense, guys. Like I know where to be dropping my my uh my AoEs, so it's quite easy for me to catch these guys off guard. Okay, I'm gonna uh, Shinra's, I mean, uh, Oryx space is here, so I'm, it's kind of safe for me to run into him. Uh, I got stunned though, and Shinra is out of space. He just got his space bar. An all come from the Bako there. It's really crucial that you are landing your M zeros as a Bako, like your basic attack. Um, a lot of people, a lot of Bako players just wait for that cooldown and use their skill shots um, and use their like abilities. Uh, but the most important thing as a melee character is to always be um, basic attacking. That's one of the cool th um, crucial thing that you gotta be doing. So Shinra is gonna drop some CC onto me here. Um, I think his, he should have pushed me and actually finished me off, but he didn't do that as well. So I'm gonna drop my ring of power. <laughs> Bro, I'm always dropping my ring of I'm always dropping my abilities, and sometimes I don't even know it though. Like it's just so instantaneous. It's like a native innate abilities bro Death vortex incoming. 
Shinra go upstairs and he's trying to attack again. Dustin Landos, as you can see, my haste is really saving me here. I'm moving super fast when I space. I'm gonna snap that uh, orb. Shin, uh, Shinra is down now, so I can land my uh, my EX ability onto him. Trying to heal off of him and like just keep him busy. I don't know where Bako is, but you know it's fine. Bako is trying to. <laughs> The dude was over here, I think, uh, trying to ult, bro. That was crazy. Anyways, Shinra go up again, comes down, and, uh, gets CC by his own ability here. Want to keep him outside, keep him outside. He snapped that orb. You see how easy it was for him to, to kill the orb? I mean, to get that orb. So, as a Shinra player, this is one, one of the most annoying thing, um, is that Shinra can just go in the air and start attacking the orb and you really can't do anything because like you can't like stop his ability from procking because it's kind of like it's happening from under like it's an AOE CC um so you're gonna get stuck out there though I'm gonna miss a couple of my skill shots uh out for some reason and uh just attack him Really decent play here. I'm if I'm gonna get that MVP because I got those orbs when they show up. I got I think I got like two orbs. All right, they tear around. Tear around here. Uh, free ass is super impatient right now. Uh, she just wanna she just wanna get this win. Uh, so she's gonna jump in. Um, leaving Auric with Bako and proc that counter which got hit uh, reducing the punishment that she could have taken so Ulrich on the other hand uh, is engaging when the Freya is actually disengaging um, that's one of the problem with like teamwork um, especially if you have like two melees on your team um, one of the problem is that one of your melee is probably gonna be like super aggressive and then when he's actually start becoming passive, the auto melee uh, start becoming super aggressive. And it kind of like, if you if you guys know how to make that work, it's kind of good. But actually, it's, it's a really, really hard thing to pull because, you know, uh, one of you will probably get caught out and uh, it won't be good. Right. So the org is aggressive here. Uh, he think the free eye is like, engaging, but the free eye is not. She's trying to peel for him um, and he actually spaced into me. So he's going to take some punishment, though. Um, I don't know where the uh, Shinria is. Uh, again, the Shinria really on perform in my opinion. Um, even on a brain dead character. Oh, he shows up though. I'm gonna drop my Reno Arrow and my Trap. They're gonna catch these guys. I'm gonna run through them though. I see that they're trying to regroup, so this is my opportunity to be a little bit aggressive on them until they regroup. They regroup though, I try to regroup my ally too. And uh, this guy is caught in here. I don't know if that's the Freya. That's not a Freya. The Ori got cut though. And I'm gonna do some little M0 onto him. And Freya here is doing scene work on me. Uh, but I'm fine though, I got some energy. So I'm gonna try to uh, EX her and just peel off of myself. Um, again, this is really intense. like. Um, especially going against an Auric player, Auric um, is a super uh, um, aggressive character to play. Um, his team are usually super aggressive. Um, it's usually super aggressive, so it's kind of hard to go against Auric. So, anyway, we have a battle though. One of the best, actually the best team uh, comp character. So, he's going to jump in there, EX them. Uh, that's an in cap. Blossom drops her uh, ESU. Uh, I think that's really that's a really decent uh, EX tree there, right? Um, if she were to drop it around here, she would it would take a lot of damage and will die super um, pretty soon. So she drop it back here um, to secure herself and I. And uh, I'm gonna try to peel off of the Baco here and see how it goes. Okay, Bako engages onto that Auric. Auric is super low. We're going to try to focus him and finish him. 
immediately I landed my uh, skill shot onto him and that's an instant kill. Uh, so that's that. I'm gonna stick it away though because I know uh, Auric, I mean, uh, this free I really want to get me. Uh, so I'm gonna sneak away, try to peel for my blossom though. Alright. My ultimate is all. I'm gonna try to land it onto the Freya, but the Freya sneaked around me, so I try to land it on the Shinria. I land my M1 onto the Freya. I know she's out of her counter, so I can be aggressive on her. She, her counter comes back up. Decent uh, EX3 here. I was pretty much gonna die. Uh, but I got saved there by that ES3 blocking the way of the uh of the Freya there. The Freya this Freya is a it's a M1 Freya. So as you guys can see here. She got the uh she got the oh she got movement speed. Actually it's really nice to go M1 Freya, bro. Like I would like advise uh Eerie to go M1, but he won't do it. Uh the same way I, I told him like he had to um change that piercing um shot from the jade but he didn't do it bro i've been playing jade for since i started playing this game and like that was like my main character for a long long time bro i actually have the best jade build in the entire game right now okay right now we actually won this match even though i'm like shitting my abilities out look at that my uh my Reign of Arrow macro with the Seeker mark and uh, my, my ability is that when I consume that Seeker mark, I do um, 3 additional damage and with my space ability here, when I use my space, if my shot actually hit somebody, I do full bonus damage. That was an instant kill onto that free already. I'm on a Seeker mark onto this guy, be super aggressive, I know I already won this match. so. Easy kill. Alright. That right there guys was a match. That right there guys was a match um, with a team that know how to play. And uh, even if they don't know how to play, like they were doing most of the things that they're supposed to do. They were doing it appropriately and uh, they were doing it on time, right? They were, they, everything was timely, right? Now I'm going to show you guys an example with a team that really doesn't know what to do. Um, or they were just really slacking, honestly. So it was really hard to play Jumon with them. Um, the overall goal here is to um, just review these characters and like show you guys the the um, the advantage and disadvantages. So here we have a refresh, fresh. I think this is like a GC or something or a champion or something um, player. Um, he's actually my viewer on Twitch and uh this is also my viewer on twitch and that we're going against an uh Alexander. and uh for some reason i don't know this this match is gonna be the weirdest ever Just gonna fast forward a little bit here. Uh, this backup build is not bad. Um, honestly, this is a decent backup build. Um, yeah, the build is, is pretty fine, right? He got the R ability, but I don't know if he's. I don't think he will. He will ever use it on us. Like this is one of the best backup uh, right that anybody can pick, along with the uh, with this fading snare. Um, like one, two, and three, these are the, the must have backward rights. One, two, and three, right? Those are the must have. Uh, so, I, from the bill, you can like tell that the guy is a is a somewhat decent backup player, or he's actually done some, a little bit of research on backup. So you should be expecting him to play well. But he's um, the past few days I've been playing with him or against him. I've seen him with a uh, Jumon, so I don't know if he plays backup at all. So we're gonna start this match off. Three, two, one, fight. All right, match starts and look where where our healer is. 
All right, this is where you messed up, right? Um, this is a pull, um, pearl. Um, her build is super aggressive, but still, though, you're going against a Taya, bro. Like, you, nobody in the entire universe is more aggressive than a Taya player. So, calm down. Okay, we know that you got, like, the most DPS of all healers built. Calm down and play with your team. All right, so let's see how it goes down. Drops the bubble without even seeing anybody, without even seeing projectile whatsoever. Drops the bubble, but the bubble actually misses um, that potential protection that she could have been giving uh, to the Bako there. Drops the Bako, take everything for herself. So selfish, this healer, um, and start attacking. Misses the uh, silence. It's, it's just all over the place, this uh, this entire match right now. I dropped my, uh, my, how you call it, my traps on her blind side, on my blind side as well. I couldn't see anything on this side because of fog wall. So I dropped my, my trap just to, just to catch anybody or if Taya was to like sneak around so I can catch her. And uh, I'm trying to focus this guy. Uh, hand is going to grab me though, pull me in. Um, this... This right hand is, is really going to be doing some work, like keeping me busy all the time. But I'm not going to get any help from my ally for like the first uh, two rounds or something like that. Right, so right hand is in our spawn. Uh, Freya and Jumong are back here. Our pearl, because she was so aggressive from the start of the match, doesn't even know anything that is happening in the background here. So I'm going to be in trouble with this right hand. Again, Jumong is a very team dependent character. So, yeah, I'm not going to be contributing anything to my allies right now because I'm, I got my hand full. Right, bad positioning here by me. Um, again, like I was thinking my pro would be around up here or something like that. So I was trying to climb up to them. Uh, my Bako is not even coming close to me to like help me out. For some reason, he decided to, um, this character have like, an extra movement speed, right? As you can see, there's a haste around her foot. She moves really, really fast, and she's really, really good against melee characters. For some reason, Mambako decided to chase this character over focusing the healer. So I'm caught in this bad position. I'm dropping my run of arrow to slow that right hand down. I'm trying to survive. Bako is still chasing uh, the Tay there. He's not even close to her, like Tay is like the fastest character in the entire game. And he's not even close, he's just wasting everything now. This R ability here, he's supposed to actually be using it on his ally, but he's actually using it on himself. So right off the bat, we've seen two selfish at, um, one from the GC or whatever, and one from the uh, back wave. Okay, she actually landed that silence, allowing me to get away with my R. I try to uh, pull back so I can isolate this uh, right hand again so we can focus him. And, you know, just if these guys are going to be doing 1v1 up here, at least we can be doing 2v2 down here, right? Um, that's what I'm thinking right now, but my purse is actually thinking about something else. She's going to attack that uh, attack that Xander, trying to push him away. And I'm, I'm really, really low here right now, so I'm trying to get away from this right hand. I'm peeling for myself, repositioning. And I take some insane damage, got an immediately pull, uh, immediate pull from the right hand there. I don't know what to do right now. It's really, really tough. I try to land my secret shot, but it, I miss this. I miss that stuff and immediately kill me. Again, my healer is up here healing somebody else, healing this guy that made an absolute garbage mistake. Um, so that's one of the uh, problem with playing Bako with people who don't know how to play uh, as a team, in a sense. Um, and that's one of the reasons why you might not want to pick back or in solo queue because most of the time you won't get people who know how to play as a team, right? Um, unless you've been playing with these guys for a long time, um, you don't know what they will, what they will pull off in the actual match. So round two here. I want to drop it onto my blinds. Hold on, actually, that was a right hand down here. So I dropped the trap and I landed my M1 onto him. Again, right hand is pressuring me, trying to get me isolated from my allies. Um, pretty decent gameplay here. Um, but you know, the right hand is out of position. 
and he should be getting punished by the Baku here by like getting slammed into this wall or something. But the Baku doesn't even know because he's actually he's competing with this uh, Pearl on who can be more aggressive. Right, so we have a healer here who, who want to do more damage than a DPS, and we have a Baku who actually want to attack this Tia and be more faster than the fastest character in the game. So, alright, so I'm getting caught here. I uh, got pulled immediately, immediately got into my arrow, so I don't take damage from him. I'm gonna get away, try to, to just sneak around and just come back to my position here. Again, my goal is not to like get out of position, I don't want to get caught here. I don't want to run into the enemy spawn or whatsoever. I don't want to get caught in the middle of the map to like take damage from the triangle here. So I'm just trying to sneak back to my base and just wait for my allies. But still though, my allies are still not trying to help me out here. I'm gonna be in this 1v1 with this uh of this melee guy who's just healing off of me pretty much. Just healing off of me, bro. I'm actually in a 2v1 here again. Right, I try to get away right away. Right, um, my Baku is still chasing this Tia though. He just, he really got something for this Tia, I don't know. I'm gonna light my secret mark, trying to get my heals back, trying to recover. Taking insane damage from this Rakan here, just pressuring me down, just healing off of me. It's, I can't do anything right now, I can't help my allies because I don't even have help from them. Right, Pearl's gonna steal that orb. Uh, because our Baku here is just super useless. I don't know what he's doing right now. And uh, I'm caught up in a really bad position right here. I got a clone behind me. I cannot move back. And right in front of me is the right hand. If I go up top, I might get caught with the tear that is coming from above this side. So I still go though. Because I got to get those greens. Alright. Um, again, Baku doesn't know what to do right now he jumped from the tia tia is super low decided to attack uh xander and pro is uh caught up in the middle here a bad position in here okay tia also in a bad position and i don't know what to do right now i don't know what which formation my team is in right now so okay so went from a bad position from the pro to the tia and now to me right so uh, let's see. I'm gonna back out though, back out. And I didn't even get our from the uh, from the pro there. The pro never used her arrow, so I know that she still have her arrow up. She should have used it on me, but she didn't use it on me. The Baku also has his arrow, but as you can see, he already used it on himself. Right, so a lot of selfish ads here from my allies, and I'm gonna die because of it. I'm just gonna forward this because that's all to it, right? Round three. Three, two, one, fight. Again, I didn't really bother to tell them anything because I know, like, when I do this, usually people just get irritated and people just start tilting and start cursing and stuff. So, I um, doing this match, I was kind of tired of telling people what to do. So I just I just said you know what screw it let's let anybody do whatever they want to do, All right? So pro here go, goes AFK. She actually gave up on the match. Um, drop my 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 trap here because I know somebody's gonna be super aggressive onto me, and I drop my ring of arrow to like get an AOE attack on them. Try to land my M1 on somebody, but it didn't land. Some attack coming in here onto the bubbles. Um, decent bubble there from the pro though. And Rakan is caught in the corner here. As you can see, our Baku is actually punishing this Rakan, getting him to, to actually slamming him on the wall here. And uh, okay, they actually went into the middle of the map. And I'm playing passively here because I know Taya is, is like. A really really decent character that can do insane damage to the group if we're all clumped together so I'm actually trying to keep a little bit of space um, Zender uses his portal Rakan uses it trying to catch up with me and immediately the Zender is out of position 
tobacco could have engaged uh actually it's a it's a pretty decent thing uh to have him try to help me out here uh so her is strong is gonna try to help me out too now she try to use her counter she gonna get sheepy fire here Bako is peeling off of me um i try to help me attack the zender because zender have been like isolated from his ally um anyways I'm out of position here. Pearl drops that decent bubble, and uh, Tia is caught up with the uh, Bako again in that one v one. So you guys can see Tia is really really fast. Um, she's able to like just run all around the map, around people. She, somebody stole that uh, that orb, and they are ulting back to back to back. Bako, because he actually helped me down here, uh, was able to execute that attack because Thea actually came to him. Instead of him running behind Thea, she actually came to him. And because Xander was out of position here, when I decided to attack Xander, the uh, right hand decided to come back up, leaving the Thea bottom here because, uh, I don't know, Thea didn't, didn't uh, <laughs> even think about regrouping with his allies. So uh, she got attacked and... Uh, she got killed. We are able to keep this going. I'm able to sneak around, land my M zero onto that onto that uh, Zender before he he uh, become a sheep himself. I'm gonna drop my Reno arrow, drop my traps, drop my Reno arrow again. Drop more uh, secret marks on these guys. Try to land my M one. Drop secret marks. Try to steal that orb. Drop more. Uh, Seeker Mike trying to land my M1 again. EX Seeker Mike trying to heal off of that right hand. As you can see, like I'm being super aggressive here just because I know that my ally are actually supporting me. Like, remember in the past, like I was just running around, running away from this right hand. That's because I didn't know that like, my ally was even there to support me, right? Um, I was cautious because, like, I knew if I lost hit point, I wasn't gonna regain it. Uh, I knew if I miss, if I hit a counter. Or something like that i wasn't gonna like recover because my ally won't be there to peel for me and all that stuff but now that i know that they are there to support me and stuff and we are like up a level um up a kill i'm actually gonna be like super aggressive here and just get this these kills back to back all right drop some secret mad traps and all that stuff instant kill right here now Bako doesn't really know uh what happened here for us to win this match um, inconsist inconsistency is one of the problems with uh, players in ranked games and uh, you're gonna get MVP here because he actually played good okay match starts again Bako looking for that tear okay Immediately my healer is all the way up front bro. My healer is like competing to do damage bro It's so insane like these aggressive healers um, They really don't care about anybody else. They just care about getting that MVP um, I think that's one of the problems of like champion players um, They all of them think they are so cool. I mean GC players or something like that like the higher elo you go like the more cocky these guys become like all of them think they just supposed to 1v1 everybody or um, just play so selfishly, bro. Like, my healer is all the way up front here doing random stuff. She gonna get caught off though, using her space. She's already used her escape now, right? She, the entire focus right now is gonna be on keeping herself healthy and all that stuff. And we are gonna get punished because of that. Right, Bako is out of position now because uh, our pro space back. And now Tia is like taking advantage of all of that. She gonna land that uh, that stun onto the pro. The pro then is facing a decent position either. This here is a I think it's a champion player or a GC or something. Um, and that's that, right? She gonna drop some bubbles. I'm gonna drop some uh, CCs, trying to just get her out of there. Drop my Reno arrow. Again, Raiken is gonna uh, um, start attacking me again, right? Um, this time, this is actually the right time to, to start charging her silence so she can silence these guys. 
and uh, I'm gonna get some heals here. She gonna space for no reason. Um, Bako actually is play attacking Zender, which is pretty fine for me. And uh, gonna steal that, that orb. Per is in a bad position right here. Um, per should be with me, honestly. Uh, Bako can actually survive on his own for for a surprisingly long time. You guys might be surprised, like um, how decent Bako is as su sustaining himself. Um, drop my Reno out. Drop my uh, uh, traps here, trying to catch this uh, rock can here. Repositioning with my allies, trying to be a little bit aggressive, hitting that TI a little bit. Um, Bako pushed a little bit too far. He took too much punishment. Um, again, the same punishment that Bako took, um, took. If Pro was with me here, um, this Rakan would have actually taken that same amount of punishment, right? So it's a it's a trade thing, right? Um, if somebody, if your ally is in trouble, right, you want to trade that damage with the enemy as well, right? So now the Rakan is like being aggressive a little bit here i'm gonna try to help my Bako. our pearl is still attacking up here she's supposed to come back and start healing this Bako. again our pearl is like so aggressive bro like she's not even helping us she gonna waste her space again Bako is still back here never received a single heal from her yet she gonna heal him a little bit Tia is ulting, our Pearl has already spaced and she went back in there, took in a lot of uh, damage. She got punished so hard that she won't be able to heal us again, right? Um, again, like as a support, whatever mistake you make, just know that your allies are gonna guess, are gonna suffer because of it. Like if you space away, just know that you won't be able to, to go in to help um, become a, uh, be aggressive because uh, you already use your escape and if you get focused, you're gonna die. Right, and because of that, your allies cannot be too aggressive because they know that like they won't get support from you, right? So playing on support is super hard, and uh, it takes a little bit of time to get used to. She gonna get pulled immediately because she spent her entire match in the middle of the map right here. She never moved like anywhere out here or anywhere out here. She spent an entire map in uh, match in the middle of the map. Um, because you know people usually say play middle play middle whatever right um it kind of goes to people head so i know that i'm gonna get focused so i try to isolate myself here i'm um, pulling the tia and the right can trying to steal that orb tia is like so fast she just ex that one that stuff and one a as well and just that's it Bako rushes in, slam that Xander onto the wall, take that orb, immediately drop his uh, shield up. He gonna try to back away. Why is he ulting though? I don't understand. He could have actually just walk away, try, hit, try to get his R and like M1s into uh, those enemies and like heal off of them. But he actually decided to ult and a tear um, how cool down up. She's able to uh, save that Xander there. Come right into the uh, right hand though. That was like a fluke shot. And I'm gonna finish that kill right there. Drop my secret mag on both sides of the Tia, trying to to narrow down uh, her movement and her, like pretty much managing how uh, wide she's gonna move so that I can narrow down my shot and actually try to focus it down. Because of that, I'm able to land my uh, M1 onto her, um, land some secret mag, start healing off of her right away. Bako right now is in reserve, waiting for those heals. I'm gonna land that, that ult onto her though. Bako's gonna jump right in. Um, I don't know if that's safe though. I don't think it was safe uh, to do that, but it was a really decent uh, comp that we could have pulled off if they didn't have like a Xander healer or whatever. Xander's gonna drop his cone right there. I'm actually hitting the cone now instead of uh, Tia, and I think he's gonna finish him off. Alright, um. Even though it seems safe, it seemed like a decent combo to pull off. Um, I think Bako should have played a little more safe, safer than that, so uh, he can live a little longer, so I can peel off of them, um, and then we can he can help me finish those kills. 
But anyways, he finish uh, he finishes. Um, and now I'm stuck in a one v two situation here. I'm dropping my secret match, trying to sustain myself using my hour, trying to hit that Xander. I'm missing most of my shot here. I know that this match is already over, so I try to to just help them finish it as fast as possible. Dropping some secret mic, trying to attack that Taya, slowing his Xander down. Drop my trap to slow that Xander even further. Um, Xander dropped that portal though, I didn't know why Taya was going to land. So she landed behind me, uh, so in the meantime, I was attacking the Xander. When I turned around, Taya had already used her, uh, her E onto me, I think. And uh, they're going to secure that kill there because I got caught in the middle. Anyways. That was it guys, um, again, Xander is not that easy to play, um, especially in solo queue, because you get like these random guys, like, some of them, like, don't really give a crap about teamwork, and some of them are just pure into have fun, and, uh, yeah, so, that's my experience so far with Xander, um, if you guys have any build that you want me to try out, just let me know. If you are new here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm also on Twitch. I stream sometimes, uh, but my stream quality is uh, it's not that good, honestly. Uh, I don't know how to use OBS, so that's that. Peace out, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.